My name is Jonathan and I am a sound designer and content creator here at Audio Design Desk. And I'm going to show how video editors can simply add audio to video using our extension, the ADD Audio Bridge. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna be working in Final Cut Pro and we have this promo from our friends here at Motion VFX. And as you can see, we have no audio. So I could traditionally just add in sounds by dragging and dropping, but I'm gonna show you what makes our extension very unique about adding audio to video. I'm gonna go up to our extensions window here and I'm gonna select ADD Audio Bridge. And when I click our icon here, you'll see that it immediately pulls up Audio Design Desk. And I'm just gonna make sure we have everything linked up by connecting to Final Cut. Now I can control the timeline from Final Cut Pro with an Audio Design Desk. So now I can use this to do all my focus for audio. The first thing I usually like to do is add full mixes to my promos. And because Audio Design Desk is a very trigger-based system, if I just press Z, it's gonna bring in a full mix randomly from our library. So I'm just gonna take a listen and see what it brought up for us. And I could keep replacing it by just hitting Command R to try out different sounds while auditioning and watching the video in real time. But doing it this way might take a little bit of time for me to get to what I want. So I could go to our genres right here. And because it's a very uplifting promo, I think I'm going to try out maybe some pop music. So let's take a listen. Cool. And just for the fun of it, let's try hip hop. Excellent. I think that one sounds really good. So I'm going to use that full mix. So I'm just going to cut the music short. And if I press C, it's going to bring up our cutting tool. And I'm just going to cut it at the very end here. And I'm going to delete the ending of that. And then if I press F, it's going to bring our fade tool. And I'm just going to add a little fade there right at the end. So let's just see how that sounds. Perfect. That sounds great. So just like that, I was able to get the full mix. But now let's start talking about the sound design. In sound design, you have your cinematic hits, your transitions, your risers. Um, and because everything is trigger based in Audio Design Desk, if I were to hit H, it's going to bring in a hit. T for transition and R for a rise. So I could just utilize those tools right there and I could just go frame by frame to find where I want to place that sound at and then just hit the trigger. But with a little bit of practice in Audio Design Desk, you could perform your sound design in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and perform it and watch the visual here. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this here and let's just take a listen to just the sound design and what it gave us here. All right, so I'm going to stop right there for a second because the first thing I noticed is that it sounds a little too intense to my liking, but not a problem. So instead of having to delete and start that all over again, I could just go to our replacement window here and I'm going to set the intensity to about one and two because I want the sound design elements to be underneath the music a little bit. And I just go to select on the timeline here and I can select just all of our sound design and then replace it by pressing command R. And now audio design desk is going to give us more subtle sounds. So let's take a listen. Awesome. So it's already starting to sound a little bit better, but I want to fine tune a couple things just a little bit. So for example, the transitions, I want to replace those and I'm going to replace it with the very common transition sound. I'm just going to type in whoosh. And while everything is still highlighted with my transitions, if I just hit command R, it's going to now replace all those transitions with whooshes. So let's take a listen now. So we're starting to get there. There's just a few other sounds I want to change. And of course, if I want to just change one sound at a time, I could just select the one that I don't like. For example, this hit right here has a little too much of a metallic sound. So if I hit option up, I can now audition different hits that I want to choose in here. But because I still want it to be a bit a lower intensity, I'm going to bring it to one and two. And I know I want it to be like a boom sound. So I'm going to just choose the subtype boom. And I'm going to just select whatever one I think sounds good. Excellent. We'll do that one and I could just double click and it instantly replaces it directly on my timeline. 
I'm gonna do the same thing with this riser over here because it's too much of a synthetic sound and it's a little too long. So no problem, I just select that, I hit option up and I know I want the duration to be very short. So I'm gonna bring this duration here all the way down and I'm thinking a stutter would be really good right here because I think that's gonna blend in with the spinning of the bicycle here. So I'm gonna just go to subtypes and I select stutter and now I can audition different stutter sounds. Oh, that's perfect right there. So I just double click right there, instantly replaces it on the timeline. So now let's listen to all of our sound design here. Excellent, so I love how all that sounds. But before we go back to the music, I wanna start focusing on the sound effects. And there's two parts in this video where I wanna add just a simple sound effect. I see this bicycle spinning right here, and I also wanna add the sound effect of maybe her taking a picture here. So let's go back to the bicycle here. I'm gonna bring the playhead right to where I see the visual of the bicycle starting, like right there. And if I hit option G, it's gonna bring up what we like to call the magic marker. So in here is where I can start typing in keywords that best fit the visual to what I'm seeing here. Two words come to mind when I see this scene right here is bicycle and spinning. If I were to just type in bicycle spinning, it's now gonna narrow down our sound effects to the sounds that have these keywords in them. And now I can just start auditioning. I like that one right there. So I just double click and it instantly goes right onto my timeline. So let's keep moving forward. And right here is where I want to add the sound effect of her taking a picture. And I think I'm going to add it right where I see the font start coming in here, where it says in Final Cut Pro. Put the playhead right there and just hit option G. Two words I could think of when I'm seeing this is I want a picture and a camera. But if I type in picture, camera, again, it'll narrow down our search with sounds that have these matching keywords here. And I could just audition different ones. I'm gonna use that one right there. So now we can listen back to it. Perfect. Now that I have everything all in here, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute the music and let's listen to the entire thing that I created here. Excellent. So I love how all that sounds and I'm ready to bring it back into Final Cut Pro. So how to do that? We're going to go back to our extension and I could either select bounce where it's going to bounce everything in my ADD session as a stereo file, but I want to bring in the entire project. So if we just select import project, it's now going to render everything in audio design desk. And I just drag this into my Final Cut Pro session. Now I open up the new session, copy it, go back to my previous session and now paste. All the sounds I did in Audio Design Desk now live in Final Cut Pro. And just like that, I was able to add sound design, the sound effects, and the music in about 10 minutes. And that is how quickly you can use the audio bridge to elevate your videos with cinema quality sounds. My name is Jonathan, and that is Audio Design Desk.